these are the materials that you will need for the orange tabby cat. First off, the super glue gel from Gorilla, the embroidery needle, as well as the butterfly clutch pin, 1.5 mm hook, or you can also use any size up to 2.0 mm hook, six strand embroidery thread in light orange, dark orange, and dark brown. Scissors, as well as the small piece of fabric to use for backing. Before we start, I just want to let you know that I also have a playlist called Amigurumi 101. In that playlist, there are plenty of slower paced tutorial. So if you need extra help with certain stitches or getting familiar with certain techniques, please check it out. Okay, let's start off with the light orange yarn or thread. First off, we're going to make a new loop. In order to do that, you're simply going to cross the yarn over like this so that it forms a loop. And then you're just gonna fold down that circle, grab your hook, and then put it under this string like that. Hold on to these two ends and then pull your hook so right now we just got a new loop i'm just gonna insert it back real quick okay and then you can hold on to the short end while pulling on the long end of the tail to reduce the size of the loop if you need next you will chain two times to chain, put the yarn over hook and then pull through the loop. That is one chain. Repeat one more time. Yarn over hook, pull through the loop. So now that you have two chain, we're going to make six single crochet into the first chain. So insert your hook into that first chain. Yeah, just like that. And then yarn over hook, pull through. And then you will notice that now we have two loops. You're going to yarn over hook once again and then pull through both loops. This is what we call single crochet. Now we need to make uh, five more because we want to make six single crochet in that first chain. So I'm going to push my hook back into that same chain. So yarn over hook, pull through, yarn over hook, pull through both loops. And this is the second single crochet that we just made. As you are making this, you will notice that um, the hole might be a little bit hard to see, but it's this one that you need to push your hook into. It's the one in the middle. So yarn over hook again, pull through. Yarn over hook, pull through both loops. That's a third single crochet. So push your hook back into the middle. Yarn over hook, pull through. Yarn over hook, pull through both loops. That's the fourth single crochet. You'll, you'll see that it started to form a circle and that is what we want. Push the hook back into the middle. Yarn over hook, pull through. Yarn over hook, pull through both loops. So put the hook back into the middle. Yarn over hook, pull through. Yarn over hook, pull through both loops. Okay, that's the sixth one. So I'm going to count for you counting the total number of stitches in each round is a good way to find out if you miss anything because sometimes the round have a lot of stitches so you just want to make sure you get uh, all the stitches correct before moving on to the next round so let's count from the first one that you made so one two three 
four, five, and then six. So this round we should have a total of six dishes. Usually I would recommend marking the end of the round, but since this is so small, I did not want to uh, sort of, you know, have the stitch marker block the stitch in this tutorial. I'm gonna skip that portion and then mark the second round instead. In order to do the second round, you're going to be making in an increase six times. When I say increase, that basically means make two single crochet in the same stitch. So in each of the stitch that you're seeing here, you're going to be making, you know, two single crochet in each. So we're going to start with the first stitch. So when you put your hook right under, you need to make sure that it's under both loops. So each of the single crochet stitch, it would have front, like this loop closest to me, and also the back loop, which is a little bit further away. So make sure your hook is under both, and then you can start making the single crochet. So yarn over hook, pull through, yarn over hook, pull through both loops. And since we need to make an increase, I'm going to push my hook into that same stitch one more time and then make another single crochet. So as you can see here, this is how an increase would look like, just two single crochet in one stitch. Now we're moving to the second stitch, going to push my hook into that second stitch and then make the single crochet. That is one, so I need to make one more. Okay, now we have another increase. And then just repeat until you reach the end of the round. So we just did two, now I need four more. So that's one. Okay, that's another increase. Now on the fourth stitch, there's one single crochet, and then in the same stitch. Okay, that's an increase. On the fifth stitch, let's make one single crochet, and then one more. Okay. There's an increase on the sixth stitch. That is one single crochet and then one more. Okay, we got an increase. Okay, so at the end of this round, I recommend marking or insert a stitch marker here for something this small I what I usually like to do is just grab like a scrape yarn or scrape thread in this case we'll just cut a short piece so that we can insert it at the very last stitch of this round just so that we don't get lost Also, this round you should have a total of 12 stitches and I will count for you. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 12. For round three, we're going to follow a simple sequence. You're going to make one single crochet followed by an increase and repeat that six times. 
so in the first stitch that is one single crochet and then in the next stitch okay that's one okay that's an increase so one single crochet then an increase and then we're gonna repeat that until we reach the end of the round so one one and then in the same stitch make another single crochet so that's an increase On the next stitch, this one single crochet, and on the next stitch, that's one. Okay, that's an increase. On the next stitch, that is one. On the next stitch, Okay, that's an increase on the next stitch one on the next stitch okay now that's an increase okay So when you reach like the last stitch of the round, you can just pull off the stitch marker for now and then we'll put it back in. So just need to make an increase for this stitch. Alright, so actually before I put it back in, let's count the, the total stitch in this round. There should be 18 total stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And then let's mark the end of this round. Okay, so for round four, it's going to be a little bit irregular because in this round, we're also going to be making the cat ear. So just need to follow me carefully. In the next three stitches, we're going to make one single crochet in each. So in the first stitch, that's one single crochet. In the second stitch, that's one single crochet, and in the third stitch, that is one single crochet. In the next two stitch, we're going to make something called half double crochet increase. So in the previous rounds, you learn about increase means you know two single crochet in each stitch but in this case we're going to replace the single crochet with half double crochet when we do an increase so all you need to do is make two half double crochet in these two stitches in order to make a half double crochet you're going to start off by first yarn over hook before you insert your hook into the next stitch okay yarn over hook again and then pull through and you will see that you now have three loops you're going to yarn over hook and then pull through 
or three loops this is half double crochet and since this stitch is supposed to be an increase for half double crochet you're gonna make one more in that same stitch so I already yarn over hook I'm gonna push my hook into that same stitch yarn over hook again and then pull through yarn over hook and then pull through all three loops you can see how it's an increase but a little bit taller because it's an eight half double crochet increase in the next stitch same thing yarn over hook and then push the hook through grab the yarn pull through grab the yarn and then pull through all three loops okay make one more half double crochet so in that same stitch i'm gonna push my hook through yarn over hook pull through yarn over hook pull through all three loops in the next two stitches make two half double crochet one in each so yarn over hook push the hook through the next stitch yarn over hook pull through yarn over hook pull through all three loops in the next stitch same thing yarn over hook push the hook through yarn over hook pull through yarn over hook pull through all three loops so we got you know one half double crochet in each for the next three stitches make one single crochet in each that's one single crochet in the next stitch that's another single crochet in the next stitch another single crochet just three of them in the next two stitches make half double crochet in each so yarn over hook insert the hook yarn over hook pull through yarn over hook pull through both loops one more time in the next stitch yarn over hook insert the hook yarn over hook pull through yarn over hook pull through both loops i mean all three loops all right in the next two stitches you're going to make half double crochet increase so yarn over hook insert the hook yarn over hook pull through yarn over hook pull through all loops and then one more in the same stitch so yarn over hook insert same stitch there yarn over hook pull through yarn over hook pull through all loops okay make one more increase I mean one more half double crochet increase in the next stitch so yarn over hook insert grab yarn over hook and then pull through all three loops yarn over hook in the same stitch grab and then pull through all three loops okay in the next stitch just make one single crochet and then you're going to chain three times so yarn over hook pull through yarn over hook pull through and then yarn over hook pull through again so you can see that we have three chains and now you're going to make two half double crochet one in each stitch of the chain so yarn over hook and notice how there are three chains you're gonna skip this chain next to hook this is gonna be always be the case because there's no way you're going to be able to insert your hook into that chain so we're gonna start with the one in the middle so yeah try your best to insert the hook in and then yarn over hook pull through yarn over hook pull through all three loops 
again one more half double crochet so yarn over hook and then I'm gonna insert through that chain yarn over hook again pull through yarn over hook pull through all three loops next step we're going to skip this next stitch right here and in the next two stitches we're going to make something called slip stitch so you will skip that one insert your hook here for the slip stitch you're gonna yarn over hook and pull through and you're just gonna pull that first loop through the second loop And since the next stitch is the last stitch of this round, I'm going to pull out the stitch marker. Insert the hook into that last stitch. Yarn over hook, pull through. And then pull the first loop into the second loop for the slip stitch. Alright, here we're at the end of round 4. I didn't mark the end of round 4 because there's only a few more stitches we need to make for round 5. So we're just gonna continue. In the first stitch of round 5, we're also going to make a slip stitch. So insert your hook, pull the yarn, and then pull the first loop into the second loop. After this, make Three chain one two three and then make two half double crochet in these two stitches of the chain so yarn over hook and then I'm gonna insert the hook into the middle chain grab the yarn and then grab the yarn again and pull through all three loops Same thing, yarn over hook, insert the hook into that chain, grab the yarn, pull through, grab the yarn, pull through all three loops. So this is our second ear. We're going to skip that stitch next to this ear and in the next stitch, we're going to insert our hook. And in this stitch, make one single crochet. And in the stitch after, make the slip stitch. Alright, now we are completely done. So let's finish off. Just cut the yarn and then pull it out just like this. I'm also gonna cut this yarn on the back because it's a little bit long. Okay, so the next step is we're going to kind of clean off this edge a little bit because you don't want to leave the yarn hanging there so just insert this tail into a needle and what I'm gonna do here is insert my hook into this stitch right here so it's the stitch next to where we finish off all right and then this is the stitch where we finish off. I'm gonna insert my needle back in there. Like right through the middle. And then pull. Okay, then we flip to the back side. Grab, um, I guess a piece of thread here. 
and then pull. And now you can cut. Oh, I guess trim the rest of the yarn. There's gonna be stuff in the back, which is fine because we're going to cover this back with the backing fabric later on. So here's how the cat face should look like. Grab some dark brown yarn or thread and let's cut off a long piece. So here what we're going to do is we're going to split the thread. Since this is six strand embroidery thread, it basically means you know that there are six of these tiny string. And we're gonna split it into one side would be two pieces, the other side will be four pieces. Okay, and then the only piece we're going to use right now is this two pieces because what this do is it makes the thread thinner so that we have a bit more control on the details of the face. Okay, let's insert that back into the needle. And now we can start making the facial detail of the cat so let's start off by making the eye so i usually like to insert from the back into the front and then the eye is gonna be maybe around like here Okay, and then just repeat it a couple of times so that the eyes is a little bit thicker. Okay, so if you happy with the thickness of the eye, then we can go and make the whisker. It's gonna be right next to the eye, basically. So I'm just gonna make just two. Okay, that's one. Okay, so for the nose, we're going to make like a T-shape. So let's start off with the horizontal line. Yeah, 
and then vertical line is gonna be like that. As you can see the nose should be around the same height as like the top edge of the eye just like that and then i'm going to loop that horizontal line a couple of times so that the nose look a little bit thicker Okay, so now once we're done again, just trim off the excess tail in the back. Lastly, we're gonna make a little bit of the stripe on the forehead. For the stripe, we're going to use the dark orange color. And again, I'm just gonna split the yarn actually in half this time so there's gonna be three and three on each side once you're done just insert the piece into the needle
Okay, same thing, just cut off the back. Okay, so now it's about time to attach this fabric onto the back. We're going to use the super glue gel from Gorilla. When you use the glue, make sure to shake it a lot so that the glue come out easy and just be very careful not to touch your face and your eyes, especially if the glue gets on your hand. And if the glue gets on to your hand, you can also clean it off with the nail polish remover and also rinse it with, you know, water and soap later on. So first, we're gonna apply the glue, as you can see, right on the middle. Just try not to put too much because we don't want the glue to seep into the other side. When the glue dry, it's gonna change the color of the yarn to like white color and it doesn't look nice if, you know, that side is white. Okay, so once the glue is on, you can just Apply the pressure a little bit, press it on, and make sure it's stick. And then we're just gonna slowly, you know, apply more glue to the edges and make sure it's stick to the fabric there too. Just kind of spread it out. Okay, so now once you're done, just let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes until the glue is completely dry before we can trim off this excess fabric. When you cut this off, be very careful. Do not cut, cut your actual crocheted piece. You only want to cut on the fabric. If you cut into this cat, it might, like the yarn might unravel. So be very careful. Okay, so I did like a rough cut and now I'm gonna try to trim it closer on the edge.
Okay, now the last step is to attach this pin onto the back side. I'm just gonna squeeze a small amount, or well, not too too little, but not too much, kind of like the size of a bean. And then you're gonna carefully lift up the pin and then put it into the middle. Gonna apply a little bit of pressure and then just leave it alone for a couple of hours. Um, I think for best result, I usually just leave it overnight. And then one more thing you need to be careful about is do not put this backing on the pen unless you're sure that the glue is completely dry because otherwise um, what it's gonna do is the glue would change the color of the sewer to like white color which is you know it doesn't look pretty so we're just gonna leave it alone and if you like this tutorial please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thank you